Hello! Hello! And welcome to a brand new edition of What the Hell Is He Thinking? Or I've Seen Better Management Down at Lidl. Or Hodgson. Bodshan, more like. Or Roy's Dicky Pick. Is he thick? Makes me sick. Got a 99? I'll give it a lick. In other words, it's time for a calm and rational analysis of the 30 players the England manager will call into his provisional World Cup squad. Whilst 63 million people wait to disagree violently about what choices he makes. But there will be some choices without controversy. Gerard, for example, with over 100 appearances for his country. Or little Wayne Rooney, already proud holder of 89 caps. For his massive, massive, massive head. The eternal conundrum remains. Take squad balance. Old hands like Frank Lampard or Ricky Lambert. Or fresh blood like Raheem Sterling or Luke Shaw. Of course, uh, there's the brand new players I've just been reading about as well. Don't forget them. Ajila and Zafira in defence. Uh, Mariva and Cascada in midfield. And of course, Astra and Corsa, the deadly duo up front. What a duo! I think you find that's the information from the sponsors. Really? That Ampira looks good in the holding role. If you fancy a World Cup wager on who'll be getting on the Algarve plane for training, Toffee Man, Leighton Baines, is where your lolly should land. Always worth watching and definitely England team quality. That is so utterly, utterly predictable. I mean, what are you talking about? I reject your bet of Leighton Baines and I'll raise you. And Ashley, Britain is no longer a major force in the production of coal. You can ask me why, I'm going to tell you why. Why? I told you you can ask me why, I'm going to tell you why. Why? Because he grew the beard of power. The beard of power, James, and like Gandalf, Brian Blessed since the day he was born, every month it ever made, and Susan Boyle before the makeover. The beard of power means success in all things. Well, whoever you fancy is going to be making the journey to Brazil, let's remember Roy's fine words. If we can really pull it off is down to if the player's playing good enough, if we are prepared good enough. So if they kick the ball good enough into the goal good enough, enough times enough, we have a sporting chance of making it out of the group stages. And that's good enough for me. See you next time. Bye. Stan James TV. Stan James TV.